It's the Andy Griffith Show, Facts and Trivia, with your host, Bob Snap. Hi guys, and welcome to the Andy Griffith Show, Facts and Trivia. Appreciate you being here. Before we get started, I'd like to suggest, if you have not yet, please check out yesterday's video. It's really good. It's pretty cool. Uh, it's... How the Cow Thief, that episode, was actually written uh, based on a true story. Go over and check that out. But today's video is on one of the fun girls. Uh, on, on uh, ain't it sad, I can't remember her name. Joyce Jameson, uh, who called Barney, Barney. Um, I'll get the name here in a little bit. I'm just, I'm kind of flustered right now. I don't know. Uh, anyway, she had a very tragic uh, life and and death and uh, uh, Skippy, that's the name I told you I'd remember, but her life wasn't so Skippy. Uh, let's take a look. Uh, she was born Joyce Beverly Kingsley on September 26, 1932, in Chicago, Illinois. Family moved to L.A. when she was a teenager. She attended UCLA and graduated with degree in theater arts. She made her film debut in a 1951 musical, Showboat and she married composer Billy Barnes, started performing in his musical review. She had a lovely singing voice and a talent for celebrity impersonations. Her son Tyler was born in 1953. She appeared on numerous television shows, including The Cisco Kid, Dragnet, and The Bob Cummings Show. Most of her roles were small, and she was usually cast as a sexy blonde. Joyce never liked her dumb blonde image, saying, in effect, there's two Joyce Jamesons the real one, and the character whom my agent and I call the dummy. Her marriage to Billy ended in 1957, but they continued working together. Soon after their divorce, she started dating Robert Vaughn. The couple would have an on-again, off-again romance for a lot of years. Director Billy Wilder gave Joyce a small part in 1960 drama The Apartment. Then she starred in a horror movie's tale of terror, uh, The Comedy of Terrors. During the 1960s, she guest starred on The Twilight Zone and The Alfred Hitchcock Hour. She also had a recurring role on The Andy Griffith Show. In 1966, she co-starred with Elvis Presley in a movie, Frankie and Johnny. That same year, she worked with her longtime boyfriend, Robert Vaughn, on an episode of Man from Uncle. Their relationship ended in 69. Although she appeared in more than over 100 movies and television shows, she never became a major star. And as she grew older, she struggled with her weight, became very reclusive. Her final role was in 1984 comedy Love Lines. Sadly, she suffered from depression and, and insomnia throughout her life. And on January 16th of 1987, she committed suicide by overdosing on pills. She was only 54 years old. She was cremated and her ashes were scattered at sea. And, and I know this was kind of monotone and no feeling to it whatsoever, but it's just... I don't know. It's I don't I don't want to bring anybody down. I just thought facts and trivia. Here's some facts. Uh, God rest her soul. Please don't forget about classic rock and country music. Facts and trivia. Head on over there. Please subscribe. Uh, have a great day. God bless. I'll be praying for you.